Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pak Dodo Trunks and we're back for another Microsoft video. And you already have a hint if we're going to be talking about them and it's their newest operating system. Microsoft Windows 11 was officially launched on October 5th. After all the check and balance instability on the Dev channel and beta channel in the Windows Insider program, Microsoft has the confidence in this newer operating system. They call this the new era of PCs. Not like Windows 10, every time they release an update, it's like a little bit buggy. Microsoft stated that Windows 11 free upgrade will start on October 5th by following their tremendous learnings from Windows 10. They give us the best quality and performance. The first to be rolled out are those new eligible hardware followed by the in-market devices, intelligent models that has a hardware eligibility, has a reliable matrix, age of device that has an impact in the upgrade. Next are those eligible devices on the mainstream and they estimated the rollouts are finished in mid-2022 and there are still questions yet to be answered. Microsoft are very strict for their system requirements. As you can see here, in terms of processor, at least 1 GHz or faster processor is required. There's a list of processors that are eligible for Windows 11. They have a massive list of processors here from AMD and Intel processors. And these are the supported processor from Intel. These are the list from AMD eligible processors. If you want to know if your processor are on this list, I have added the link down below. We still needed to enable secure boot and UFI in the BIOS. And this very controversial TPM 2.0 requirements. If you want to know more about the secure boot and UEFI and TPM 2.0, just click the link down below. If you think you have all the needed requirements that Microsoft requested, this PC helped you verify if your PC suits the upgrade. Here's how you run PC Health Checker. Download it. Sorry for the slow internet connection. Run it. Let's just close our tabs. Check now. And see if you pass all the Microsoft requirements. As we can see here, that I met all the system requirements for Windows 11. Let's see all the result for more info. I have an 11th gen i5 mobile processor running at 2.4 GHz. This latest Zenbook from Asus has met all the needed requirements for the Windows 11 rollout. For those who are not qualified in the upgrade, people are frustrated on Microsoft because Windows 10 is nearing its end and Microsoft won't let us upgrade to Windows 11. For me, for my point of view, it is difficult to maintain stability if something's working on the newer hardware but not working on older ones. So Microsoft will fix it. What if that fix leads to another problem for newer and older devices so it cycles again and our technological advancement will be dragged down because stability costs time effort and money and maybe they foresee a potential threats on older devices 
because they don't have the specific hardware. Dito sa atin, di pa kasi natin masyadong pinag-uusapan ito phishing, data breach, ransomware, remote access, crack software, backdoors on apps, yung tinatawag nating may mga palaman. Those are threats for Microsoft. Sabi nga ng text sa atin, format mo lang yan, okay na yan. We don't have accountabilities pa kasi. At limited pa yung mga well-informed tech at IT professionals natin. And those are red flags for me. Why would I risk it if it's worth a lot than buying a new hardware? At regarding naman sa Windows 10 lifespan, we have a long way to go. We have four years, four years of saving, earning, so we can buy that new hardware in that time. All right, ayan. Let's end this in a simple statement. It is too early for us to judge Windows 11. Let's see how this newer operating system performs in the coming years if it's a waste or a praise. And if you are looking for a cheap, legitimate Windows 10 license keys and Microsoft Office license key, I have the affiliate down below and I have added a promo code so check it guys. And if you learn something new in this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next Microsoft video. Bye!